Chapter 48, It's Time to Make Money Treasure Peak, located in the northern part of the sect, is a dense bamboo forest. When Han Yi stepped into the Duo Bao Pavilion, it was already night. People came and went, both from outer sect and inner sect. You need things from the mortal world? At the front desk of Treasure Peak, an elderly man glanced at the wheat-colored youngster and the nine-foot-tall man in front of him and frowned. Yes, Han Yi nodded. The more the better, Wang Daniu added. The old man waved his hand indifferently and said, go over there to register. Remember, no matter how many things, the transportation fee starts from one lower grade spirit stone. Labor isn't free, understood. Han Yi recorded his purchasing list onto a jade slip with his true key. He bought a batch of common chickens, ducks, cattle, and sheep along with vegetables and fruits for nurturing at pure Yang Peak. His sharp eyes then spotted a green jade seal with a beautifully engraved ancient pattern displayed at the front. His eyes immediately lit up, but his heart jumped when he saw the marked price. 3,000 middle grade spirit stones, wow, that's expensive. To give you an idea, he only received a hundred lower grade spirit stones per month. Spirit stones were divided into lower, middle, upper, and supreme grades, with each grade converting 100 to 1. 3,000 middle grade spirit stones equated to 300,000 lower grade spirit stones. That was too expensive. 3,000 middle grade spirit stones, how much is that exactly? Upon seeing the number, Wang Da Niu seemed clueless and helplessly scratched his head. Han Yi rubbed his face and sighed, even if we sell ourselves we wouldn't be able to afford it. It's equivalent to a hundred Liu family fortunes. But it's not comparable, the concepts of gold, silver, and spirit stones are different. Wang Daniu didn't care about the details. His face turned pale when he heard about a hundred Liu family fortunes, a hundred of Master Lia's fortunes, oh my goodness. The old man at the front desk, not even glancing at them, was busy with his abacus. This is a superior spirit treasure. With a formation technique engraved inside, it's naturally a lot more expensive. You should look over there. The magical artifacts there are suitable for beginners. Having heard this, Han Yi had to look at the magical artifacts in other areas. There were swords, knives, compasses, and pill furnaces in rows. But although there were many, it was clear they weren't of the same quality as the jade seal he had just seen. These all seemed to be magical artifacts. Han Yi commented. Spirit treasures were divided into immortal artifacts, ancient artifacts, destiny artifacts, spirit treasures, and magical artifacts. Magical artifacts were the lowest grade of magic treasures. However, when he saw the price of the profound light blade in front of him, he couldn't help but frown. The lowest grade magical artifact costs a thousand lower grade spirit stones too expensive. To buy this magic treasure, he would have to save up for 10 months without eating or drinking. Looks like I need to think of some ways to make more spirit stones. Han Yi sighed quietly. Shopkeeper, he'll take this flying sword. Good, 1500 spirit stones. Han Yi felt the voice was familiar. As he turned around, he saw the straight back of a woman, especially her long, slender eyebrows. He called out, Miss, are you also here shopping? Liu Linky held a dark flying sword and placed it on the counter. Hearing someone call out, she quickly turned around and saw it was Wang Da Niu and Han Yi. Oh Miss, what a coincidence. Wang Da Niu greeted her with a cheerful smile. Liu Linky was surprised but not unexpected. It was normal to bump into each other in the sect. However, the loud tone of Don Niu caused other disciples to look, making her blush. She said in a low voice, within the sect, don't call me miss, address me as Liu Linky. It feels weird, Wang Don Niu laughed heartily. Han Yi, being the clever one, smiled and said, he'll continue to call you Miss Liu. Miss Liu, you already got some spirit stones to buy magic treasures? Liu Linky nodded slightly, these days, I have been completing a few sect missions down the mountain, and earned quite a few spirit stones. Plus, the spirit stones my elder brother gave me were just enough to buy a flying sword for self-defense. Upon hearing this, envy arose in Han Ye's heart. Having a brother indeed makes a difference. He learned from others that Liu Chengfeng, as the rising star among the inner disciples of Ziwei Peak, quickly rose to power and is now competing for the position of the lead disciple of the inner sect. 
In other words, Liu Chengfeng is at least a foundation establishing cultivator by now. The Liu family has produced two prominent figures, Liu Chengfeng and Liu Linqi. Their futures are promising and boundless. Your flying sword is ready. The old man at the front desk handed the prohibition-free flying sword to Liu Linqi. The treasures of Mount Duo Bao are all sealed with prohibitions, so they cannot be stolen by others. Even if they are stolen, they cannot break the prohibition, and thus cannot exploit the function of the magic treasures. It's done. I should go back. See you next time. Liu Linqi took the flying sword and bid farewell to the two, leaving behind her silhouette. A bottle of key nurturing pills is 50 spirit stones, I can only afford two bottles. Wang Danir looked at the various porcelain bottles on the counter, picked one up and muttered softly. Key nurturing pill, although it's the lowest grade of elixir, it's an essential item for key practitioners. I have to buy it. Han Yi picked up a bottle of key nurturing pills, and although it was painful for him, he had no other choice. Maybe I can also take on some tasks to earn some spirit stones? Han Yi looked at these elixirs, magical artifacts, and spiritual medicines, and an idea emerged in his mind. Since alchemy and artifact refining are so lucrative, can I try to learn them? Once I master one or two of these crafts, wouldn't it lead to wealth? With this idea in mind, Han Yi arrived at the spirit seeds section of the Great Hall. Many of these are spirit seeds cultivated by Bihu Peak, they can grow the spiritual medicines you need. If you find them expensive, you can grow them yourself. Whether they will grow or not depends on your own skills. The blue-robed senior brother in charge of this area explained to the new disciples who had just entered. There is a variety of seeds and fruits here, all bizarrely shaped. To refine pills, you need many spiritual medicines, and spiritual medicines are grown from seeds. He looked at the overwhelming variety of seeds, carefully selecting, but no matter what, he couldn't distinguish their quality. Just at this moment, a pleasant laughter reached his ears. Those seeds look quite good. Next to him, one disciple's eyes lit up as he took his pick of spirit seeds with stunning speed. His eyes were like a pair of eagles, scanning over every seed and quickly locking onto one. As if he could tell whether a seed was good or bad with just a glance. Wow! At this time, a white light fell from his head. Pick up attribute, fondness for wood and plants one. Seeing this attribute, Han Yi involuntarily cracked a smile. Fondness for wood and plants white, you can discern the quality of growing trees and plants and the goodness of their seeds. Indeed, he could pick up other people's attributes. What he didn't know, others would know. As long as he followed the disciples of Bihu Peak who were professionals. By collecting several attributes related to spiritual plants, wouldn't that solve the problem? Therefore, he followed behind this disciple, constantly picking up attributes. Pick up attribute, fondness for wood and plants one. Pick up attribute, fondness for wood and plants one. In no time, he had collected over 30 points. Fondness for wood and plants 3850, you can discern the quality of growing trees and plants and the goodness of their seeds. He felt as if each of these dazzling green seeds had been magnified singularly before his eyes. Minor defects and color changes in the seed coats all seemed to narrate the vitality of the seeds.